This is fun. And you fun. should be having fun in the kitchen when you're cooking. And you with the should. holidays coming up, yeah. order it now and stop practicing. That's right, exactly. You're looking at this and you're like, wait a minute. Is that a bowl of granola? Are those eggs in there? Is that a tart? Is this caramel rolls? I mean, you are gonna be totally amazed. And guess what? It all happens with these two pans. Brand new today, all nonstick. You can make six of these at a time. We'll explain how it works, but this has never been on before. It's two easy payments of Hey, nine dollars and ninety-nine cents for the two easy payments. What? Okay, so explain what this is. We okay. call it a bake set. Okay, I will. Uh, this is a bake bowl. Bake bowl. Okay. First of all, edible bowls right now in restaurants are the hottest thing right now. Whether they're savory or whether they're sweet, they're absolutely on fire. I, I, I've seen people doing cheesecakes, breakfast items, fruit tarts, bananas, Foster. Uh, we have a we have a cornbread. Uh, with chili and cheese. Oh. Uh, I'm going to make eggs florentine for you in a second. Granola. Okay, this is the bottom, which is what the crust is. And then the cool thing is, is whether you do a top or as I'm going to show you with an egg, then this goes inside mm -hmm. and then it goes in the oven. So and that's what's making the, the That's cavity. what's making the bowl. But you can also use this as I used here for eggs, which I'm going to show you in a second. Great. Okay. Excellent. So that's how cool it is. And by the way, if we just made you hungry by showing you these foods and talking about it, 11 recipes coming with this set. Yes. And these are the recipes that right. you're looking at and right now. And let me show you before I, sh I, I put one together. Okay. How about chicken pot pie? Maybe you're a pot Smart. pie lover. This is uh, basically you can use a waffle batter, you can use puff pastry, yeah. you can use phyllo dough. Okay. There's a lot of doughs that you can you can use cake batter. As we did here, we made Boston cream yes. pies. Sweet. And you can see the top we Shut did the up. yeah, the batter. Oh, we have the top cake that we did with the chocolate and then the, the pastry cream is in there. Mm. Bananas Foster, what we did is we did a pie crust yeah. that we actually sweetened, and then the Bananas Foster went inside of that, and you can top it however you want with caramel, with vanilla ice cream. Right. How about just beautiful, fresh fruit tots? You know, for brunch, for those ladies' lunches, mm -hmm. strawberries, raspberries, blueberry. we used a puff pastry dough for that. And it looks like you bought that in At one bakery, of the fancy-schmancy right? exactly. bakeries or grocery stores. How about stores? getting a little creative for breakfast? Yeah. This is a yogurt, but inside, what we've done, we've taken the yogurt and put it inside a, a granola cup. So <laughs> we've actually that. made a granola cup, okay? And then what we're going to do is you take whatever that fancy Greek yogurt you like <laughs> and we put it right inside here Yum. okay so look at this this is how easy it is we bake this for about 15 minutes in the oven first mm -hmm. then right now oh, at yeah. least where I live and here where we are mm -hmm. peaches are right at their primo so look at this we I just, just had one for breakfast this morning I love it with so, my yogurt I love it so we put the peaches <laughs> like that we can serve that for breakfast look at any that. fruit we want you could serve it for a dessert Okay, awesome. look okay. at this. Show me some more. Okay, I took just regular country ham and put it in just for a few minutes to make a little basket. So it's a ham basket, it's not a dough. Yeah. Then on the stove in my cookware, I made Florentine, a spinach mixture. Oh my God. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of the spinach mixture like that. And then on the top, when I baked the ham, I just poached a little bit of an egg. And now I'm just gonna put the egg just like that. And I have a very new and creative brunch with a little eggs Florentine. Do that for your spouse Sunday morning. Yeah. Honey, she's going to be, he or she, depending on who's doing the cooking, That's right. is going to say, oh my goodness, what did you do? Well, all of those recipes are included. And think about your guests for the holidays. How about the fact that maybe it is just for the family getting together? Maybe it's your daughter and son-in-law and their three kids, and you just want to kind of show them that grandma's a good cook. Oh, so you, you have, so you have folks come over, and you're getting ready for the big game. Okay, yes. whether it's Saturday college, whether it's Sunday, Monday night, uh -huh. we made a very savory cornbread Ooh. in a little pot of my cookware. I made a very simple meat and bean chili. Huh. And now we put the, okay, maybe it's halftime. We put the chili inside of the corn uh -huh. bowl, corn muffin bowl, top with cheese. And how about that for a new Gosh. steak? What is this over here? Okay, this, this is amazing. It, this is amazing too. because it's beef bourguignon. Oh. or beef stew, if you will. Yes. And what we did is we did another pastry here, and we filled the beef and the mushroom stew 
inside of that. Here we have a blueberry cake. So we have a little tot shell there again. Oh, that's the cheesecake. Oh, honey. White chocolate cheesecake inside of a chocolate cake bowl. Don't put this in front of me and expect <laughs> me to stay away. Look at that. And, and Mary oh Beth, as, as, you, as you saw, the top, what mm -hmm. we did like for mm -hmm. our eggs, we made a different size. We used, we used the, uh, the, 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 the top for, for the eggs. We used the bottom for yeah. our ham. It's right. just amazing of the things that Look you can do. That. And when you a talk about those cards of what you're going to get, we're talking about eggs florentine, mm -hmm. mushroom ragu in the puff pastry, peanut butter granola bars to die for, right? That is incredible. To die for. Oh, my gosh. How about potato bowls with scrambled eggs? Mm. Right? Something you know different. I got to tell you, if I went to our really nice grocery store in this area and bought that, they would charge me probably four to five bucks a piece. Right. So to get six would cost me $24, $25. Right. The whole thing you can make yourself is less than $20. Right. In fact, it's less than $10 each. I mean, that's what's and amazing. You get these two bowls. And by the way, I just want to show you. See that little hole there? And then the uh, piece right here, when so you, when you're going to make they, them, they insert. They exactly. insert, so Good, that way they point. sit perfectly. That's exactly right. And before we leave, eleven recipes come with it, and I'm going to try this too. You're trying the banana, you not, the, not the bananas. You're going to go. You're going for Boston cream. Pie. Honey, I'm going for the Boston oh. cream. Well, let you me betcha. tell you, this is a okay. fun, fun piece. Don't miss out on this bacon bowl. Mm. Six servings, mm -mm. folks. Uh, you shape it. You pick the, the, the kind of bowl you want, and let me tell you, you're in business. You are amazing. That is so cool for $20. What a neat gift to give somebody, too, if they're a great baker or, hey, maybe